If you have a Seagate expansion card for your Xbox Series S, this is how you install it and set it up. First off, take it out of the box and be amazed by the size of this thing. It is insane. I thought it was going to be way bigger. Check it out. That is absolutely awesome. And there's a little sticker on the back alerting you to make sure your Xbox is updated to the latest software version. So do that first and then peel that off. And there we go. There is our nice new little Seagate expansion card. And all you want to do now is head on over to your Xbox. We'll try and move this and not wreck the joint. And as we can see, blah, 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 blah. turn it around without destroying the place. Then take your Seagate expansion card and plug it right in here where it says storage expansion. Click like that. Boom, and there you go. You get a message on your Xbox, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Then it just asks you if you're going to use this drive on multiple consoles or if it's going to stay attached to this console. So for me, I am going to select the drive will stay attached to this console. Then once you've done that, head on over to settings and click down there. Then go down to system, go over to storage devices and there we go down the bottom like that. No formatting needed. We have it ready to rock. You can see there, there's 455 gigs free or 456, which is a bit annoying given it's meant to be 512 so just keep that in mind and as you can see here i've got a whole bunch of other storage options which you can find out about and understand every storage option available for xbox series s by clicking the card on screen right now